Aufnahme gestartet. When it comes to connecting your astronomy equipment to your Raspberry Pi running Astroberry, it's not all about the hardware. Software is also a big component. And that's why in this video we are talking about file and transfer options to transfer files between your Raspberry Pi and your main command computer that um, is remotely connected to your Pi. If you did not watch the previous videos, I highly recommend watching them. Um, it's not necessary to watch the other two videos in the series of upgrading your smart telescope, but um, certainly it can be of good use, especially the first one about the connectivity. In this video, I'll give you three important guides on software that could be useful for your AstroBerry setup and that can make your life much more easy and improve your comfort as well. We're talking about file transfer with WinSCP, how you can attach your network storage to your Raspberry Pi and as a third, how you can transfer files between the uh, from the Raspberry Pi Explorer because that may be also a bit tricky if you don't have the pseudo rights. Without further ado, after the intro, we'll head right into the topics. Okay guys, so for the first item on this list, or for the first tool, um, we're gonna install something that is helpful for transferring files between your controlling laptop, for example, or your uh, full desktop PC and uh, your Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna do that with the tool called WinSCP. And it's um, the easiest if you install it um, via Ninite, which is a super helpful website, by the way, <laughs> nonetheless. So you just head over to ninite.com. You can see here at the top. And um, we're simply gonna scroll down to the developer tools and at this uh, page we see WinSCP. So we're gonna check that checkbox. Maybe you'll find some other application that's useful as well, but you can also check them uh, that um, as well. And then click get your Ninite. And then follow the instructions. Here we have the installer. Run the installer. Hit yes here. And then it's gonna install it for us, WinSCP. And WinSCP is a, well, tool um, where you can connect to your Pi. That's done. And it should be installed by now. Yeah, here we have it, WinSCP. And now we need somewhere to connect. So one thing um, you can see here in my VNC client, I got my Raspberry Pi opened up already. Um, as we're very good local for this case. So we need to find out what IP address we have. So I will do that real quick by entering my router. Be right back. Down here we can see Astroberry. This is the IP address. We'll copy that. And now we have the IP address where we can uh, find the Raspberry Pi, so I'm just... But one thing you need to make sure, which... Uh, yeah, let's, let's go first into the Raspberry Pi, I almost forgot one thing. It's under settings. Settings and then Raspberry Pi configuration. Yeah, we need the password here. This one? Yeah. All right, and one thing you need to make sure is here in interfaces, so the third tab, um, you need to make sure that SSH is activated. I don't know if it's activated by default, but you need uh, your port um, 22 for that. So you need to have SSH uh, enabled. And for me, that's the case already. So we we'll head into WinSCP, enter the IP address, leave that as it is. And then you wanna go with your username, which is Astroberry. You could also go with Pi. Um, and then the password. If you haven't changed that, it's also Astroberry. But I think I've changed it, so... Ah, well, I know I changed it because I entered it already uh, five seconds before. <laughs> so now I hit sign in. And um, then it's a question because of the token, but um, 
we can go ahead with that. And now you can see on the left side, this is my um, PC. Uh, so it's uh, under my documents folder right now. And on the right side, you have all the stuff um, that's connected on the Raspberry Pi here. Oh. Which? Here on the Pi. And you can see I have my pen drive connected as well. So we will be able to see this as well. Okay, now let's uh, head into the root folder and then into media. And that's where we'll find the um, USB pen drive. And for me, it's here, for example, we can go into some of the um, fits pictures from previous sessions. And for example, if I were um, currently in, um, doing some sessions and I wanted to check how is my picture, well, um, how's the quality, maybe you already want uh, to stack your first 10 pictures and have a look at them. So you can select those. Well, let's do it with two, for example, here. And then we'll go, maybe let's just leave the default folder here. And then we would adjust to click download. And here we can still um, choose another folder path, but let's leave it as it is here. And you can see um, it's downloading the data and you can do the same. So if you want to install something or you have some files you want to put on your Raspberry Pi, then you can also uh, move it the opposite way. So that's a very handy tool that is also helpful during your Astro sessions. One thing to keep in mind though, um, you need to make sure that your Raspberry Pi um, will be assigned to the exact same IP address uh, always. So you need to um, check that setting in your router because if not, you need to look it up every session. But I think that's a no-brainer. So, I think that's so much for the first tool. Um, now is the next uh, topic. We're checking out how you can attach your network storage, your NAS storage, to the Raspberry Pi uh, running Raspbian. So um, it's similar, I guess, for Linux systems. And I've also used the guide, and I just want to show you the way I managed to do that. So first, we want to start by um, actually, well, you can see here, by actually enabling um, the NFS service in our NAS um, control system. So for me, it's the Synology. Um, I have a Synology NAS and, well, ignore that. And um, you need to check the box at the NFS services. Um, if you don't have that, um, I think uh, Linux systems cannot um, well use this uh, data file or file or the exchange format. Um, I think by, by default SMB is activated. So um, activate the NFS system and then we can go over into our good old Astroberry software. So we want to open the control panel here and um, then we want to enter sudo nano uh, slash etc forward slash fstab fstab and what that does is well we're opening the nano editor and we're entering the file fstab and as far as i've un uh, understood it here are all the um, network paths um, dropped or uh, they're they're registered here and, and when the system boots all those hard um, all those storage paths will be um, linked to your um, explorer and uh, all, uh, to the file system. Okay, so we start by entering our password. So, and now we're in, in the file in the nano editor and you can, um, well, travel around by hitting the arrow keys. And what you want to do is you want to add a new entry here. And um, you start that by two forward slashes, then the IP address of your network um, drive. So for me, it's this IP address. I, I've taken that out of my router um, network information. Um, then, um, depending if you have any uh, special subfolder, so for me, it's Astrobuilder, which is German for Astro Pictures. Um, so I've just the IP address, 
followed by a forward slash with my folder. If you were, uh, uh, if you would have more folders, then of course you can add them to the path as well. Um, then we have the second folder, which is the folder where we want to um, create a. Uh, uh, this is the folder that we see at our Raspberry Pi. So um, how it should be called. And for me, I've um, well created a folder in media and NAS AstroBuilder. I can show this to you as well really quick by the path, by the explorer here, so we don't have to hang around in the command window. So I'm in a slash media and I have the path NAS underscore AstroBuilder. You can simply create a new folder by right clicking here. And then you need to make sure that uh, this name is the exact same name as <laughs> your folder. And um, well, then also the path uh, for as for me, it's uh, media. There is no specific reason why I chose that. I just thought, well, um, I don't know, because there's also my pen drive. So um, that's why I've, I've um, chosen this path. And then um, you need to enter CIFS again with a space, then uh, username equals, and then, yeah, well, your username, because I guess your NAS should be um, secured by a username and password. So for me, um, I've entered my username, so this is a dummy um, line here. So enter your username, enter your password. So this will also be plain text, so I won't be writing that here as well. And then um, I think those are the access rights, or so read write, and then user ID, and GID, I don't know what that is, but I let that on default here. And if you enter this, um, make sure that you don't have any typo here. And then you hit Control S, which I won't do now because I have my actual line not stored here. And then it will save the file and then you can close the um, editor here completely, the, the command window I mean. And now what we need to do, either you reboot or you go with this command, sudo mount and then space minus a. And again, I need to sudo password. And um, it will mount all the files that are um, described in the file f step uh, that we edited uh, just this very second. And uh, now, um, if you go into your explorer, you will see that same path where I've shown it to you. So here, um, no, not that one. We need to go to media. Here, see media, and then there's NAS underscore Astro Builder. So double click. I can see the files that I have in my NAS actually. So for example, if we were to go into, I don't know, 2021, and then let's go into the Pleiades pictures. And I can see my TIFF pictures and all that stuff, my subs and so on. And in theory, the good thing is I can drop them um, from directly from the Astroberry install, drop them over to the NAS, and then on my actual editing computer, I can easily um, edit the pictures or already pre-stack them. So if there is a session ongoing. And one thing I want also to comment is in theory, you could um, in ECOS, you could set the path to your NAS file uh, or to your NAS um, path when it's opening. Just give me one second, please. Start the dummy profile real quick. Okay, okay, okay. And here in the camera tab, in theory, we could go um, not with our pen drive um, path, but with our uh, newly created Astroberry um, NAS folder. But I, I tried it and it did not work properly. Uh, it was a bit weird and I think it's a bit difficult because if it doesn't mount properly, then um, your files will go into Nirvana or something. So I would not recommend directly um, storing the pictures you are taking here because it's risky. You don't wanna, I don't know, lose your complete data over the night because it doesn't save properly. So maybe use it in a, a well, pen drive or a local folder on the SD card and then move all your files over to your NAS at, at once. So there's that. And that's so much about the NAS inclusion in 
your Astroberry install. And now the third part. But the third part is actually quite connected to um, the first two tips, which is how you can uh, move files between folders. And if you're the same like me, um, the default um, user created in your Astroberry install is the user Astroberry. So um, you need to make sure that all the things you install, or if you install additional software, it's not installed in the pi directory because there is a second, or oh, well, it should be the first user actually, um, pi, which is the default user for any Raspbian install. And um, you may run into trouble if you want to store um, pictures or files uh, being the user Astroberry and you want to store them under the pi directory or something like that. So you may run into problems, you don't have the right um, access rights, um, you can only read them and for me oftentimes I wanted to move over some pictures I've taken and it wasn't possible. And as I'm not like a full Linux pro, um, <laughs> I still like the um, GUI um, approach and like to transfer um, files by clicking them and dragging them over. Um, so one thing I want to share with you is the information, um, how you can have a simple little shortcut here as the root file manager. So if I would click this button here, it asks me for my root password and you see it's for the Astroberry account. So I enter that and now this explorer is opened as a root user. Of course, you can also damage some stuff. So be careful um, with copying important files or de rather deleting important files, so don't do that. But um, if you happen to, you want to copy your pictures you've taken uh, onto your pen drive or into your NAS folders or stuff like this, and it says, sorry, you do not have the right rights for this action, then um, this is a good approach. And now I'm going to show you how you can um, well, enable this little shortcut because that's not a default um, uh, option here. First off, we're going into here, uh, the shortcut menu, and then we go into settings and I think preferences. Uh, here, main menu editor, I think that's the one. No, that's, ah, no, that's, that's the correct one, yes. And then you want to go with a new entry on the top right and then you can call it whatever i call it i think explorer root or something or sudo whatever i <laughs> have your boat and uh, the, the important thing here is now as a command you need to um, enter um, sudo and then pc man fm so uh, and what that does, it um, opens you the Explorer as a root user. You could also um, just hit this into the command file every time, but the shortcut is an elegant way of doing that. And then you can hit OK, and then it's here, you see, and you maybe you want to move it up or something, so you can here move up. That's what I did, but you see uh, root file manager is already ticked here, so I will um, delete that once again. And that's it. Now you can access your files as a root user. Oh, so the tips are over. Um, yeah, so you've watched my tips and uh, thank you for sticking to the end. Um, hopefully I could teach you one or two things with those tips and if you did learn something, please be sure to hit the like button. <laughs> it's highly appreciated. Um, yeah, that's so much it. And we'll see each other at the next video. Chris out. Clear skies. <laughs>